Welcome everybody to the watch list right here in the Latin Nerds Network, your virtual weekly TV guide. Ready to talk about all of the shows that get released on streaming. Of course, set you up at the end of the show of what's coming out next so you can create your very own watch list. As always, ready to give our recommendations, not only myself, but of course my co-host Jaime, aka Chewy. How you doing, brother? Hey, brother. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Championship weekend, as they say, for the football aficionados out there. Yeah, I got my t- I got my title, so I'm happy. Uh, the title. Uh, that being <laughs> said, <laughs> hold on from that. What I hate it, dude. Uh, oh, Jesus. It's just a long time ago. I like to stay, with, like to stay in the present. Uh, we got about a week or so statute of limitations on anything we talk about for the most part. Statue of limitations, so, so this, man. Let's stick with that. Uh, <laughs> Uh, that being said, uh, it's actually a busy week. A lot of shows, a lot of shows got dropped, and there was a lot of quality in there. Surprisingly enough, it's actually a pretty good week of uh, of streaming. A lot of stuff for you guys to catch up on because we have a light week next week, so you get a chance to maybe jump on some other shows that you may have missed. So, but before before we talk about those, yeah, of course, uh, you know we've done this a lot this this year. This is a, 2023 has been brutal. In memoriam, uh, very sad news, very sad passing, uh, and it's not quite over yet but they're definitely on the on lifeline and you know get your affairs in order for those fans of these shows of course that is titans and doom patrol uh both on the what a, uh, what a, a, are you serious HBO Max. canceled huh? i can't believe it oh say yeah it titans, so. uh, say it isn't so dude. huge surprise uh and I, listen i i made my lack of love for titans very vocal over the past few years and i i was off the show uh, so I'm not surprised. Doom Patrol. I was still on. I know, I I, and it has on. a good fan base. So whatever it is, what it is right? It, you know, what are you gonna do? It's fine. I get it. Um, but I knew, I knew the end was coming. I mean, like I said, we talked about this last year when they first started acting. Oh yeah, Titans and Doom Patrol is safe. No, they're not. Dude. No, we knew, and I think uh, yeah. So they're, they're gonna release the last half of the the last seasons, which oh yeah, yeah, you know, right. Yeah, so you know, they're, 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 half seasons left of each. Right. They're gonna wrap it up with a nice bow exactly. uh, as best as possible. Right. But uh, unfortunately, this is it. Yeah, it's and even cool. even even uh, James Gunn commented that this is his mm-hmm. best before he was brought on board. So even, so we knew from back last summer when it, when Discovery was chopping, this was gonna get chopped. No, and exactly. So, so I'm only sad about Doom. I, I like Doom Patrol, uh, Titans, whatever. But either way, at least we're getting dating because I had a friend text me. He's like, "Oh, I'm not gonna see how it turns out. Relax. We're still gonna get a second half." They were aware of it apparently, so they're, it's going to get finished up and they'll. Clear yeah, they can't. They can't. Write, they can't. They can't write it off because they're only showing half. So. <laughs> they, more, more fair enough. Uh, but I've been showing, and the writers did, you know, and the, the showrunners did complete the season with in mind that yeah. it was not going to continue. So that's for, for what it's worth. You're going to get a, a, a true ending to the show series. So yeah. So in June, no, no I think more. Come out no later this year. Ass. No more ass zombies. No more ass zombies. That's a very <laughs> sad day here for the watch list members. <laughs> It is what it is, but yeah, at least, at least we get to see the last second half. So that being said, my condolences to all the fans out there. But let's get to the stuff that we know have not has yet to be canceled, at least for now. Because a couple of things, or at least one thing that needs to be canceled immediately. Oh God! And we'll get to that in a minute. Um, Boo, bitch! I want to go back to Let's not even go there. Uh, but anyway, so let's get to it. Uh, let's start with the, the movie that got released, and and then I may have forgotten the show. Oh, man, I've forgotten this show, but I'll bring it up, but whatever. Either way, so let's talk about the movie for you people uh, on Netflix. Uh, the first big Netflix film, I guess we say big Netflix film, starring, of course, uh, Eddie Murphy, uh, Jonah Hill, who wrote uh, the film as well, co-wrote the movie about Jonah Hill's, uh, you know, got romantically involved with the African-American girl. So now we have the whole thing about the interracial, interracial relationships and differences between the families and nobody wants to, they can't get along, yada, yada, yada. Um, big letdown. Sounds pretty, sounds pretty tropey. It's very tropey, but it's just, like, what I say about, like, things with comedy and horror, right? The simplest forms of filmmaking. You just have to be mm-hmm. funny, you have to be scary. You don't care. Comedy, you've seen a lot of stupid-ass comedy that we laugh and it's great, <laughs> right? Let's be clear. Uh, this is not one of them. Uh, I'm not saying it's terrible. It has its moments. I like Jonah Hill. Eddie Murphy's just kind of there. He's playing more of a straight man than anything else. Um, but it's not, it's just very tropey. They try so hard with the, you know, the, the, the race division angle and it's like they beat you over the head with it. Little subtlety goes a long way. And it's just like, ultimately it's just not, not that, not that funny. I laughed at a couple of scenes, no, no doubt, but didn't quite hit Netflix. Not a big surprise. We know most of the movies are mediocre. At best, right? At best. Uh, the few gems sneak in there all the time, of course. But this is definitely not one of them. 
Um, I yeah, not a recommend to be honest with you. It's it's just not funny enough for you to watch, uh, despite it. And, and like they said, it's a good premise. Yeah, it's tropey, but it's just you know, a updated version of Meet the Parents, right? Basically, what they're trying to be here, right? We're racially infused Meet Meet the Parents, ultimately. But it just it just it doesn't work at all. The, the, good, I'm glad that I waste my time. I don't know, yeah, watch. so I'd not recommend for me on that one. So it is what it is. So you people, man. Yeah, those people. <laughs> um. <laughs> Oh, some Latino in there, wasn't I? Just kidding. Um, they forget about us people, yeah, as usual. Uh, either way, let's move on to a documentary. Um, staying at top. Michael Pena. There's no Michael. <laughs> where's Michael Pena documentary? Just reading Michael Pena documentary. Uh, let's stick with uh, speaking of racial divide. Uh, the 1619 Project. This was, uh, of course, a documentary released on Hulu based off Nicole Hannah Jones's, I guess, famous, uh, well, popular, divisive um, essays that were featured on New York Times. Uh, New York Times, New York Times, yeah, New York Times Magazine. Uh, I think it came out of the book as well, or or, or somewhere. But uh, yeah, she was the author, she was the narrator. This is her show. Yeah, I think she had a podcast as well, if I'm not mistaken. And, and obviously, it's correct. Like, taking her perspective on, on, on racial issues and you know the effects of, of what happened to African Americans in terms of voting, what continues to happen, motherhood, music. Like, they dropped two episodes; it'll be six in total. Um, yeah, the first one was democracy. The second verse was well, the title democracy, and the second one is race. Uh, but uh, the second one, yeah, but definitely the impact uh, on women's health, I guess you could say, mm-hmm. uh, as related to uh, uh, black women. And the first one was, I guess, more tailored around voting and rights. Children. On the first but, episode, right, right, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, the effect mm-hmm. on that and what's going on. And I guess he mentions the importance of, of it's, it's sound, this may sound weird, but the importance of slavery towards democracy, right? It's not, it's not that slavery was good, but it led to democracy as we know it now and the importance of uh, of African-American history and, and their impact on that, right? Uh, well, I think more the recognition. Um, yeah, that's fair. There you go. And, and that, 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 you know, they're not trying to, she's not trying to portray the evils of it necessarily. I mean, we I think we can all agree, at least, on that. I'd say 90, 90% of us can agree uh, of the dark state in our history. Uh, but I think ninety but ninety percent of us can't can agree of of the events and their impact, positive and negative, mm-hmm. right? And, and the results uh, of said events, such as you know, as you, as you mentioned in the very first episode, uh, tying into the American Revolution. And I think this is what she's trying to say is 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 and and she makes a very clear point in the very first. You know, when you visit colonial America, the the presence of slavery is is so whitewashed; it's ridiculous. Right, um, and, and 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 obviously we don't want to talk about it. We don't want to acknowledge it. We want to pretend it didn't happen. We know it happened, but we don't want to, you know, put it out there, right? As 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 the ugly part. No more so than Germany. You go to Germany and you want to, you know, talk about uh, the impact of fascism and Nazis. You you don't you know you, know, you, you acknowledge it, but you want to just push it away and, and pretend you know that's the big man, mm-hmm. right? And, and that's how you tend to forget about history and things and why right? things keep going in a cycle. Um, and, and, and here she's trying to put, you know, say, yeah, it happened and this is the impact and this is the positive thing that came out of that, right? Uh, you know, it's some things, right? It, but it's still, it was a long, and it's still an ongoing process. Right. And, and some of this stuff is so ingrained in, 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 in how our society is formed, you can't ignore it. You can't pretend it's not there and say, oh, it's all okay. fine. Um, yeah, and I bring up in the first episode with the, the Supreme Court decision to, to start chopping away at the, at the 65 uh, Voting Rights Act, mm-hmm. right? And the comment that uh, to Trust Roberts said that it's been 50 years, we no longer need it. We, we're, we're not so fast. You take away that 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 one pillar, and then all of a sudden you start, um, you know, okay, let's start chipping away, let's start chipping away, take it away, making it harder, surgically, ger- more germ and more things. I mean, this is like what happened in Reconstruction. When the troops are there, and they said to me, they're all equal rights. We're voting people in. There was, there, you know, and there was this uprising, but, you know, you take away the troops and all of a sudden you, you get into Jim Crow and segregation and, and state sponsored segregation. So you, sometimes you need these things in place to prevent things because you don't just match with, with the wand. There is no racial discrimination. No, it still exists. And it permeates and it's there. And if you let it fester, it grows like a fungus. Yeah, and it's, re- it's really well done. I really like this one. Um... She talks a lot of uh, historians and you know people in political science, et cetera, et cetera, get their yeah. perspectives. And, it's, and, and it's, definitely, I, I enjoy the part where I I learned something. 
that I have yeah, no I idea that they didn't exist, <laughs> you know? Yeah, exactly. We've seen, we, listen, we've seen documentaries like this a thousand times. We get it, right? It's not, she's not breaking new ground, but she presents it differently. It has a good perspective. And especially from her, she has, she came from a, a, a mixed race. I think her mom is white and her father is black. So sure. she has mm-hmm. to get into a perspective from two different cultures. So that's kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, I definitely, I really enjoyed it. They dropped two episodes. I think there's going to be six in total. So this is one I'm definitely looking right. for a good documentary and all that. Um, but this is one, I want to bring something up and I'm, it's to forgive me folks for this is a little bit, uh, a little bit jarring here, but, um, give me one second. So I want to, I forgot to add this. To, I don't know why and I should have added this. Maybe subconsciously I didn't want to add this to, <laughs> to today's discussions, yeah. if you will. Uh-oh. Um, yeah. here we go. Sorry about that. Just bear with me guys. Here we go. So let's bring this, I'm going to bring this up real quick. So let's go to Paramount Plus. And okay. they released a show called The Wolfpack. Oh, yeah. yeah. We, talk, we mentioned it last week. Though. Well, as far as it coming up, we didn't talk about the show. It came mm-hmm. out this week. came on Thursday. Yeah. dropped one mm-hmm. episode. Uh, it was one star, starring Sean Michelle Gellers in this. is a mm-hmm. show about, I guess, it's a teenage, young adult kind of, but it seems like vibe. And I guess there's some kind of big fire accident. Within the smoke, there's this animal, or a werewolf, let's be honest. Who attacks a couple of them now they start to turn you know the usual kind of stuff with these kind of stuff uh these kind of films and tv shows um god damn this shit fucking sucked so bad um it was just an awful terrible show and i'm, I'm we've been jumping on paramount plus the show saying hey they're bringing some good releasing some good stuff right we toasted king the offer Mayor of Kingstown, of course, uh, 1823, is that 1923? Whatever. Uh, that one's on there as well. People really like I haven't started watching it, but people say it's really good. From Harrison Ford, Her- uh, Helen Mirren. But this one was terrible. It was, this was just, I kept thinking this is a, a CW show that CW probably wouldn't put on. It's just how bad this show was for me. It, nothing worked. It was lame. The CGI was really oh my God. ridiculously bad yeah, it was terrible awful CGI. It was, it's just like that pilot episode it was it was like oh, wow yeah it was re- it was so off-putting it, it, nothing interesting nothing new and I, i'm off it already i hated it I, chewy i don't want to go all day with the show chewy with your thoughts on it i, I i'll keep watching i mean like there's only once a week just to see if it gets any better but uh it is uh Oh, gee whiz. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know, dude. I... That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you really yeah. want to be watching it? Um, yeah, it's bad. I, I Look, if you like C, CW stuff, this may be up the alley. Fine. And I love this kind of horror, t- wolves, you know, I love all that stuff. This is just not good. It's just not good. At this point, I was hoping maybe on Paramount we get something kind of different, or at least... Something a little more edge to it, and this is nothing. It's it, yeah, there's nothing. To I thought it. I expected a little bit more edge. Yeah, ex- right? not exactly. I, I mean, it, yeah, had its moments at the very big first yeah. opening scene with the animals kind of going crazy, and I mean, they were killing people left and right. It's like wow. Right, but, 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 this, <laughs> but that was but that was that was the, like, the best part. That's probably that, the only that, good part. I was like, okay, maybe there's something yeah. here. But this, even then, the CGI was really bad to begin with. I, from the get go, I'm like, oh boy, this is. But what I can forgive it to some degree. But there's another scene where it actually shows a couple of the werewolves, not to spoil anything. But... No, no, that that scene was oh, that, 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 that was like terrible. It's ridiculous. I mean, it was I really could, bad. I could I could see the blue screen and the green screen. Yeah, it was like, it oh, was, I think geez. I saw the director there in the, in the shot and uh, the, the, the yeah. mic down. It was really bad. It was, <laughs> it, was <laughs> it was awful. So yeah, so I, I totally forgot right. to add it to it, but it, next, big negative, big negative for me on that one. So uh, <laughs> sorry, I had to get off track, but I just I just totally forgot to add the show to the list here. Um, but we'll, we'll make up for another show we forgot to Yeah, mention, we might so. set towards again. Chewy, my right to, to bring that up. Um, the Endless Night. Oh, Todavía al mes de noite. It's Portuguese, not really Spanish, Brazilian mm-hmm. show. Uh, this one here is obviously based off a true story, uh, apparently, yeah. where I guess there was uh, 240, more or less, 40, uh, teenagers. Yeah, demonization of a, of, a, of a club fire. Yeah, club fire started. <clears throat> mayhem and smoke inhalation the chemicals and all that stuff and then a lot of them end up di- dying so it's not, a lot of them got you know injured severely um 240 died so it deals with the parents dealing with that which is you know obviously a touchy subject mm-hmm. and also then trying to seek justice as to why this event occurred and some of the obstacles they ran across and trying to get justice brought in so all that so you know the Brazilian court system is obviously different than ours but nonetheless justice uh convoluted sometimes and equally as frustrating at times right uh, and it really does a good job putting you in the shoes of the parents trying to, you know, find out why and who's responsible, right? The kids die, you know, it's going to hit you a certain way, obviously. Uh, six, I think it was six episodes, uh, obviously limited series. Mm-hmm. 
But you wanted to go first. Your thoughts on this one? I was bored, dude. I, I just, um, I, I mean, I, 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 not, I, I think I, I sat through a, a few episodes and I was like, I said, I'm out. I just, I just couldn't do it. It was just not engaging, not entertaining, not didn't want me to care about what happened and, and what the events of Trace Park. Maybe because it was in Brazil, I just didn't, it didn't connect with me. And I just, I just, I can't recommend this. I, uh, this should have been a movie. Like, I think if Maybe. we got like, a two-hour film and gone through it a little bit quicker, I think it would have been more interesting. Because, listen, it, it's there's just emotional parts, and those parts hit. It just kind of lingers on, and it gets to the judicial part of it all. It just kind of lingers on, takes too long to get where it needs to go. Mm-hmm. If it was a two-hour film, I thought this really could have been something pretty good, honestly. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, I'm with you. I'm not recommending this. It's it's It, it falls a little flat, you know. And, and, yeah. and like the first episode, it was the, the chaos, they did it really well. What happened to yeah, fire and come but, but, out the fire? Six episodes, yeah. you know, the five other episodes, it was just. Yeah, after that, it just, it, I don't know. It just lingers. There's a whole episode on the morning part, which I yeah. get, but you could spend 15 minutes on that and move it along. So I think this should have been a movie at the end of the day. This would have been actually a pretty decent, interesting story because it is a true story and it is effed up what happened and how things occurred and all that. And, you know, mm-hmm. the, the, the politics behind, you know, with the, you know, obviously with the Senate, with the, you know, politicians and the, the lawyers and the prosecutors and all that going on so it's it's interesting but but yeah it just didn't hit at the end of the day I'm, I'm with you on that one um mm. poker face is one i was looking forward to um peacock of course ryan peacock. johnson who just gave us you know nice album glass onion of course which i enjoyed a lot uh just one starring a um interesting how you skip over the star wars movie but okay. well you know <laughs> listen i like last Jedi, but whatever it is what it is but i'll bring in looper you know as really good breaks and <laughs> there you go movie. looper uh, good movie, really yeah. good too, but in one of his first films uh but i don't want to get too far back but that being said um uh what's her name uh La- natasha Natasha Leon. We saw her in Russian Doll, which sure, I really liked. And I like her. She's great. She's got something about her. It's, it's interesting. Um, this one here is a 10 part series. Uh, they dropped four episodes on Peacock. And it dropped too, too many episodes, but, you know, whatever. I'm sorry? It dropped too many episodes, but. You they should have kept the two. Good. I like the two and then go for, yeah. you know, go once a week, right? They're going to do that week. Mm-hmm. That. But whatever. Uh, I saw a couple of them. Uh, there's so many shows to me, want me to really dig in and watch all four, which I will. Uh, not to tip my hand here, but yeah, this she is a uh, you know she has this ability apparently to instantly know when someone's lying or bullshitting her, um, you know, and she gets involved in trying to solve. I think every week's a new murder case. As she, I don't want to spoil it. Events happen in the first episode, which drives her to leave and escape. And during her, I guess whatever, trying to break free, she ends up. You know, confronting some other mystery, or whatever. Can use her her gifts and talents. Yeah, she's supposed to be at the wrong place at the wrong right, time. Right, right. Yeah, along her yeah, way, it's very. It's filmed kind of like eight, kind of very cool, like 80, 70 style kind of. Like a, I think she's a cooler dude. She's definitely Before cooler. she goes, someone gets killed. Uh, yeah, I know, right? It's, I'm gonna go here. Someone dies. Ah, damn it. Uh, but yeah, it's, it has a very kind of a uh, aesthetic, very 80s, 70s aesthetic to it. Almost like a old school kind of like a show, like Columbo, Columbo, Kojak kind of detective kind of show. Um, Kojak. And uh, I'm enjoying it, man. I like this one. I like the first episode of Adrian Brody. Uh, Benjamin Pratt is going to be in it, I think, in more episodes, but he's in it as well. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. I like her. She really sells the show. She really does. That's an interesting premise. The second episode, I wasn't loving it. I liked the first one a lot. The second one was okay. I heard it does get better. So, But it did enough for me. I enjoyed it. It's fun, entertaining. I like a good mystery. I mean, it's not about the mystery. It's about her solving. Because they, they kind of give you what the, we know what the mystery is. At the beginning of the show, each, each episode. Yeah, there's no mystery. I mean, yeah, there's they no mystery solving. You see, you see the right. events, and then you go back and see how she's involved. Right. What you see, right? They've edited it where she, you don't see her, but then you see her, and she's like, right, she's literally right there. She's involved. She's, you know, either by happenstance or, or through other means, she is around mm-hmm. every single one of these clients. Like I said, she's a cooler. Yeah, and then, yeah, <laughs> and then she basically she ends up figuring out what happened after the fact. Mm-hmm. So, um, I'm enjoying it, man. What, what do you think, Joey? Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I, like Simone grew up is, is, is out of wish, he would have presented where she, where she is solving it and we're trying to solve it as well, rather than I'm just spoon feeding us the events mm-hmm. and then have her see. I mean, like, it's still entertaining. But I, I just, you know, I would just prefer, okay, don't show me, the, don't show me the recipe. Let me try to figure it out along with her. And maybe that have made it a more interesting, more of a much watch type of show. Yeah, exactly. Where you know, where you know the yeah. events and you just watch it very tight about and see how she figures it out, right? How, mm-hmm. What means she goes to figure it out, which is still entertaining itself, but it could have probably been better. The other no, way I agree. And, and, a, a la 
out of glass onion or knives out, right? right? Exactly. You don't know what exactly. to do. And I'm hoping that maybe in the few future, future episodes, that's what it does. I've only seen two, um, but I mean, hopefully. Uh, it no, does. I've seen I've seen all four. Oh, you saw all four. It's, okay. it's the same. Okay, yes, it's okay. the same. Fair enough. Yes. Fair enough. Um, but it's still enjoyable. I like it. it yeah, yeah. It's just yeah. not. It's not great. I'm not saying it's much to watch, but it's an enjoyable show. It's Peacock. Mm -hmm. Most people get Peacock for free. So this is one I'm recommending and all that. So and again, she she's great. I, I like her. So it's something about her, just like ah, I like watching her. She's it's it's funny. She got great charisma on, on the screen. It's really cool. Um, so yes, recommend from both mother ends. Yeah, you probably, it's not a must watch kind of show. Um, next one, Netflix, Lockwood and Co. This was a, another show uh, based off, I guess, a book or series or whatever. Young adults. We have a uh, I guess a, an award where over the last fifty years, ghosts or apparitions have risen and. You know, killing people. Paranormal activity is, is, is real. I'm sorry? Paranormal activity is real. Right, it's, it's, it's real and obviously very dangerous. And I guess they found out that the, to, to fight them off or whatever, they discovered that some of the kids now have, some kids have abilities where they can see them or, or, or hear them or sense them, whatever. And mm -hmm. they're being trained and used uh, before their, their, their abilities were out to go out there and destroy them, right? kill them, hunt them, whatever the case is. But of course, it's a business now. Right, so different corporations who get these kids, they train them, send them out as for hire. If you're people who want to get rid of a ghost and want to sell a house, for example, that kind of thing. So Lockwood is this little company of, of a little someone who kind of went rogues on his own, who has his little team, and they go out there and end up uh, trying to kill a ghost. And this ghost ends up being a part of a bigger mystery, which of course is a bigger part of a bigger mystery, and that's kind of where it's at here. Um, this one, uh, it, I, I liked it. I, I didn't love it. I, I've seen four or five episodes. I think I, I ran through a lot of this. Okay. Uh, I'm enjoying it. It's a fun show. It's like we talked about, right? We mentioned Imperfect, something like that, where I was afraid this might be really bad. And it was, it was good. I like it. It was entertaining. I liked the mystery. They had some fun with the show. I liked the characters. It just doesn't quite hit that mark. Like, you know, this if this, this, if this they wanted this to be a Stranger Things, it's not, right? Uh, by any stretch no, of no, no. It's, I think it's more serious than, than right. Than so, I, I do, yeah, I do glad that although the material is YA, they don't really lean into that. Right, this is not a CW. I like the Wolfpack is, but this is still mature enough for the adults to enjoy. Right, we're not getting some of that, the cheesiness that you would think of in a YA or a young adult kind of uh, story would go. I like it. I like the premise. I love the premise. That they built the nice world. I like the idea. It's just interesting. Oh, I like that. That's just different. I, I thought it was something completely different. Just a bunch of kids who just want to be Ghostbusters. That's what I thought it was going to be like, and it's not. Right, it's more grounded in terms of yeah, this whole world, not the world, what at least London anyway. Ghost everywhere, very dangerous people to hunt. I think then the beginning of the show had this montage and show like over a million people died or something uh, around there, mm -hmm. close to it. So this is a real thing, and these people are being used as kids are being used as child labor, <laughs> right? Let's be honest. Uh, to, to a certain degree, to get rid of these ghosts or whatever, the, uh, whatever the case is. I'm like, uh, Chew, your thoughts? No, I, I wanted to see one episode, but I, I liked uh, the world building that's involved, and 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 obviously it's, it's taking a very serious. It's a drama. Yeah. And so taking a serious tone, and but presented in a way where it's not silly or it's not believable, it, it's very interesting. And uh, I mean, like I said, only one episode, but so far it's so good. It's, it's good. It's good. I'm not. Uh, it, but it's, it's definitely worth the watch. It definitely is. Uh, especially mm -hmm. if you have obviously, you have, sure have Netflix if you don't. Um, but yeah, again, it's not like Poker Face. It doesn't really hit the high notes, but it's right there. A good, solid watch, entertaining. And like I said, I've seen enough episodes now to say, okay, I don't think this is going to be great, but it's going to be good, solid. Let's see if this stays around or not, right? We see an, another show, uh, was it uh, The Bastard's Son, so, somewhat, uh, same mm -hmm. kind of tone, which was canceled by Netflix. This one looks, yeah, this, this looks a little canceled. more family, enough, a little more friendly, I think, and more accessible this show than something like Bastard's Son is. So hopefully this sticks agree. around. But yeah, it's good. I'm enjoying it, no doubt about it. Another one, The Snow Girl, La Chica de Nieve, as it is. This is a Spanish show. Uh, again, on Netflix, uh, I assume it's a limited series. Um, yes, correct. Six episodes, uh, I dropped, if I'm not mistaken. This one here is, uh, we got a young girl back 2010, abducted in the middle of this parade Christmas, Christmas time. And now the parents obviously frantically trying to search for her and the authorities involved. And we have a reporter, a young reporter who had her own issues where she's a, a rape victim. So she's you know, going through that, trying to deal with that. And now she finds herself completely engrossed in this in this particular case, trying to help find this young girl, investigate it, and it spans about uh, 10 years, more or less, the show. Uh, well, they jumped, they, well, the door, a lot of they time jumped jumps. forward six years. Six years. I mean, at least, at, least, uh, at least after the events of the first episode, they jumped forward six years. Uh, and I think we do the same in an episode two, I believe, back and forth. Yeah, it goes back and forth, 2010, 2016, 2009. I actually mm -hmm. finished watching, I wasn't, my plan was not finished watching it. 
I want to watch a more poker face. And my, my girlfriend jumped. I was watching episode three. She jumped on and she wanted to finish. I'm like, what am I going to say? Uh, happy wife, happy life. No problem. Uh, which I was fine, fine with because I actually enjoyed, I actually enjoyed this one. I, I, I almost didn't, was not going to watch this. There's so much to watch. I put it on like, it's actually pretty good. It's very dark, very well done. Mm-hmm. A lot of, I don't know how, how deep you are into it, Chewy. Um, but, well, I keep two episodes. Okay. So that's that episode where I the, the shocking, <laughs> little shocking reveal of Turn of Events with the sun. I was oh, like, oh, Whoa. I saw that one. Oh, okay, yeah, which was, yeah. A, 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 I, was I didn't expect that. And there's a lot of things like that. Mm-hmm. It gets deep into it. You start discovering as she's investigating this, that this could have a connection with her own situation um, when she was raped, you know, years back or whatever the case is. Um, I liked how I, I, I was, I was, Pleasant surprise at the reveal of what occurred with the daughter. I was like, oh, I did not see that coming. It's not what they built up, not what they expected in a good way. Mm-hmm. And the well, good dark. It's a good dark mystery, right? It's what it is for me. Um, I enjoyed it. Actually, I was surprised how much I actually liked this show. Um, Chewy, you, you said you did like it as well? or Yeah, oh. yeah, so far, yeah. The first two episodes, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. No, no, no. Yeah, I was saying that. Like, cause I, 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 I like the mystery aspect of it. It's a very dark tone. Mm-hmm. Uh, and like I said, the second episode was already throwing it, already throwing in twists. And I was like, oh, okay, this is good. This is what right, I yeah, that was a really so. good. I was like, whoa, okay, I did not see this coming, right? And it's really cool. Mm-hmm. It throws a lot of stuff like that at you. And like anything else, a lot of good investigations, a lot of clues and stuff being followed. Very good watch, good uh, procedural in a way, kind of, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but it's very dark tone. And, you know, it has the ending is good, dark the way it should be for the most part. Um, but I enjoyed it. And it, particularly that fifth episode is when they... It goes back to 2010. It kind of shows everything, right? Give you a perspective where it shows exactly what happened, who was involved, okay. and why. Um, that yeah. wraps it up okay. in the last episode. But good watch. I actually enjoyed it. So more than I thought it was. I'm glad I, I, I put this on. I almost passed it. I think you guys should enjoy it. It's a good recommend for me. Uh, Shrinking. Apple Plus. This is one I think we were, uh, we're all excited here. Not all excited, but Not a little bit, we're yeah. excited because it's Apple Plus. I mean, let's, you know, they're great. Uh, a lot of good shows come out Apple Plus, no doubt about it. This one here we have... Of course, Harrison Ford and uh, Jason Siegel, of okay. course, who are uh, psychiatrists, therapists, whatever. Siegel's character, whose you know wife died previously, so he's going through all that. Of course, the trauma of his wife, the death of his wife, has a daughter. He's kind of lost connection with as a result of that, and he, he just he's just kind of in a, in a in a in a in a rut, if you will. And he realizes he wants to take a different approach to how he treats his patients, an approach which is frowned upon. About, from his colleagues, particularly Harrison Ford, who I believe is his boss, I guess, or something, who runs the facility. Uh, it works in the I think he runs the facility. I'm not necessarily his, own, his boss. Well, but... If you run the facility, you're the boss. <laughs> I mean, I guess, right? Uh, but, yeah, but, I but, but, but that would be the friends or colleagues or whatever you want to call it. Harrison Ford is kind of that grumpy old guy uh, in this scenario. Uh, you know, very abrasive, but he's actually he's actually kind of funny. He's actually one of the better parts of the show, like, actually. Uh, so, yeah, she's trying to find his way, Jason Segel's character, back into form. Uh, recover mm-hmm. himself and help his patients. Um, I mean, yeah, it's been story. a year, so we, we catch it's a year after her death. Essentially. Yeah, more so or less. Right. A year. Yeah, more or less. I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, because uh, yeah, it's been about a year. Um, thirty minute episodes, more or less. 30, 30 minute episodes. It dropped two. Sure. I guess I'm enjoying it, man. I really like this one. It's a fun show, good show. It has this Ted Lasso esque vibe where this you can tell that the positivity, right? It's like what this show kind of was going to lean on, which I really enjoy. It's kind of a feel good show for the most part. First episode, a little sour because, you know, he's going through his stuff. Mm-hmm. But second episode, you see where the show may be going. I mm-hmm. like the character. I like Siegel's character. And he's doing what he normally does, right? Let's be honest. He, he's he's doing his shtick. But I like his shtick, right? And I like Harrison Ford and what he's doing here. Good, 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 good combination. You know, good, good uh, back and forth with them. The chemistry is good. I'm enjoying it, man. It's a good show. Entertaining. It's funny. Uh, you know, it's, it's uh, heartfelt. So I think a lot of things going on. Again, I think it's going to end up being a very kind of you watch the show and you just kind of feel good about yourself and all. And it's always good to have a show like that. Which is why I love Ted Lasso. Well, right? I, I hope so. Yeah, exactly. I think that's where it's going. I, I assume, I hope that's where the show goes. I don't, and it's, it's doing a good job of not really hammering us down with what he's going through as much, right? We, okay, so he's already gone through that for the most part. Like he's coming kind of out of that. So he's, he's trying to come out and get right. to the other side. It's like exactly. So, and he's close. He's, he's peeking his head there. He's not mm-hmm. quite there, but I think with the help of his patients and what he's doing, and he befriends at least one, well, a couple of his patients he's befriending so that they don't want to mm-hmm. go for the ride, ride along together. So I like him. I'm enjoying it, man. It's a good show. I'm not saying it's a great show, but it's a really cool show. I think it's a definitely you guys should check out on Apple Plus. Chewy? Yeah, no, definitely. A lot of heart. Uh, some good humor. Um, some very good performances. And, and it's short and sweet, right? It's 30 minute episodes. Yeah. And so when you get to this comedy, then, and then even though it has a serious, serious subject matter, 
but they're presented in a way that that is is palatable and entertaining, and and you, and you can feel good about it, right? Hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll see how it. Yeah, ends. right. I'm hoping that's the direction it's headed. Yeah, I agree. Uh, but it's good. I'm enjoying it, man. Apple Plus, another winner, as far as I'm concerned. I'm really liking it. And like I said, 30 minute episodes, easy, quick watch. I'm definitely gonna catch this one. Um, before we get to next week's, I know two, you wanted to mention um, a show uh, on Hulu. Yeah, I believe. We, we missed it. Yeah. yeah, we missed it on Hulu, or I missed it. Uh, and I just happened to catch it. Uh, it I think it came out in 24, so I went and missed it. So it came out last week. Yeah. And the and reason I caught it, I saw an article where uh, Disney Plus had already renewed it for season two, right? Before it even showed up to season one. I think this, this is shown in BBC across the pond. Uh, it's called Extraordinary. Uh, it's another comedy. Uh, you can catch it here on Hulu. Uh, Disney show, Disney produced show, whatever. But uh, this is really funny, man. It's 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 a very dark comedy. And the premise is, you know, the world is that everyone develops a superpower of some kind, right? Uh, you can turn to so people can fly, go invisible. Then you have oddball powers that really kind of drive that the show. And we have this one focuses on one character who has already turned of age and has yet to develop her power. So basically, she is ordinary as, as compared to the rest of the world and so and, and so this is where the hygiene ensues right it's her living without a power trying to see it develop and the interact with everyone else who has a super power and the powers are, are from from yeah great super strength to utterly ridiculous one guy who can make you orgasm by a single <laughs> interesting i like that <laughs> come handy you see, for you see, out there. yeah you, you get all kinds of people i mean some powers where you know, they make you hear one one of the dentists, and and her power is, you know, as as you come towards it, she she can make you uh, feel the music of what you're feeling, right? So she's going to dentist, and you hear like ominous music, right? Suspenseful, and it's like, and she's like, do you hear that? Like, oh yeah, that's my power. <laughs> so it's just, it's just really funny. So they they, they come her, I mean, they literally throw spaghetti. It's just yeah, that's a power. Go for it. Uh, and it's really it drives out of the comedy. And, and how many stuff. episodes so are, are out? Is it like the whole thing is uh, or? Yeah, the whole thing is out. I think it's eight episodes have dropped in Hulu. We watched the whole season, thirty minute episodes, okay. that, that thirty one, minutes or less. That's I'm gonna catch up. Uh, it's funny you mentioned Hulu. And it's, it's very, I mean, it's, it's British and it's very dry. Oh, uh, that, so, that's the type still, of humor, right? Yeah, exactly. We yeah. saw something like that with um, Outlaws, right? That's like this is mm-hmm. kind of style, which works. I like, I like all kinds of humor, so I'm, I'm fine with that. Uh, I'll check it. I definitely want to check it out. Sounds kind of cool. And speaking of which, on Hulu, I did see that the, it's on there. I haven't started watching. I might wait a few weeks, and, and I got a lot of busy stuff coming up. You know about that. Um, but the Godfather of Harlem is that what it's called, or the one with the? Oh, is that is that dropped on Hulu? Yeah, they, I saw it on Hulu. It's on Hulu. Um, with uh, four... well, not the new season. Maybe the no, no, no. I put it on. Has a, has two seasons on there. Well, yeah, we're in season three right now. So no, right, but I can catch up with season seasons, one yeah. and two. I'm sure Hulu will drop season yes. three eventually. So I'm going to end up with Forrest Whitaker. Looks really good. We talked about that mm-hmm. last week. It was an MGM Plus. Giancarlo is good. And good. also, uh, King Pink himself, I forgot to mention, he's in it. Oh, the, the he's Alfred. one of the, uh, yeah, the Alfred, he's oh, one of the, uh, the Italian mob bosses. Okay. Uh, that show uh, looks pretty good. I wanted to see it at MGM Plus. I mean, who has MGM Plus? Come on, guys. I do. <laughs> okay, so you got one subscriber to MGM Plus, and no one else can see the show, apparently. Uh <laughs> Fair enough, uh, but yeah, but that's under now. I, and I've heard good things. I'm, I'm gonna in a few weeks probably end up catching up on that one. Um, yeah, but yeah, I'm gonna watch this week because it's a light week. Uh, so let's get to it in terms of what's coming out. I think five things are coming out. The, the first thing I'm not watching it, but I figured I mentioned it anyway because what the hell? I doubt you were gonna watch this either, but it doesn't mean you guys won't want to watch it. And that's, of course, Pamela, uh, documentary oh. film on Netflix, her perspective on her life or whatever. She was a big deal in the 90s, we all get it. Uh, we saw Pam and Tommy on Hulu, which I really enjoyed. Um, but whatever is there, it doesn't interest me, but it makes some of you guys, so I'll mention it. On uh, 31st, same day, that's both in Tuesdays, is, uh, I'm, I'm saying is right, Sunk on Earth? I don't know if I'm that. Sunk on Earth, okay. yeah. So it looks like it's a mockumentary. Uh, it's a mockumentary. Uh, uh, mockumentary. I don't know if it's mockumentary or more comedy men- talk, comedy. Mentory. Well, it's described as a documentary, but whatever, right? <laughs> Talking about the you know the beginnings of civilization, and this was a BBC show, uh, a doc that yes. came out. It was review- got some good reviews. It's pretty funny. She's going around, kind of, you know, going through like uh, what's that in um, in London, the famous uh, Stonehenge. Stonehenge. Thank you, uh, out there, and she and you should talk about it. And, but it's done in a funny way. It's, it says mockumentary. I don't know if that's the case, but it's definitely comedic, right? It's not your typical kind of documentary. Mm-hmm. Looking forward to that one. Uh, the Ark on sci-fi which admittedly i didn't know what it was i suddenly put on a trader wow all i can think about is wolfpack but i, oh, I, I don't know I, just, based off the trader it just 
not anything has to be young adult guys. There's adults in, in the future, guys. That's all I'm saying. You know, it's just shit. And all the adults die apparently except for the kids. It's not that's not like that, but I'm saying you know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, I guess it's about a ship is on its way to colonize a, a different planet or whatever, way deep in the future. So an accident happens, and now they're kind of marooned on the ship and try to find a way to survive limited resources, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. I'll give it a shot. I think it's also going to be on Peacock too. I saw the on the post. Oh, it's oh, yeah, because it's sci fi, right? Right, right. so Peacock, Peacock will have yeah. in case you're on sci fi like myself. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, I might, I'll give it a shot. I'm gonna give it a shot. They're probably gonna drop one episode anyway, and it's a light week, any as, mm -hmm. as it is. That's gonna be on Wednesday. Um, on Thursday, we have something called Free Ridge, uh, little Latino representation. The show on yeah, Netflix, man. so I'm gonna yes. give it a shot. Support this is a, a continuation of On My Block, which right. is a, a four season run, which I enjoy. Yeah. And so this is same. I think stay 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 within that that same neighborhood, that same realm of, of folks. Uh, just another group of kids that they're following. Yeah, I think the years, kids so. find this box and they'll get cursed and they try to unleash, uh, you know, uh, cure themselves of the curse. It looks pretty fine. It, 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 this could be boo bitch. Could be and uh, on the block. I didn't see the show, so but uh, this is a, a new series, so I'm gonna watch this one. Um, it looks funny. It looks like it could be the trailer. I, I laughed a couple of times, so I'll give it a shot there. And Apple Plus, just speaking of weight dropping, another show. Uh, usually don't do this back to back kind of things. Uh, Dear Edward, this one here is a nice uh, drama, but I guess it's a plane crash, only one survivor. Uh, this it's not, a kid. It's not, yeah. it's not Bruce Willis in this case. Uh, which is looking at Edward. <laughs> so now, you know, dealing with the families of those who perish and they're, you know, forging relationships, even when, who, who takes care of this kid and all that. And, Looks like it kind of feel good, you know, tear jerking kind of thing is going to try to be. I, I saw a trade. I wasn't excited for it, but it's Apple Plus. So, we'll, so let's see. Yeah, let's yeah. give it a shot. It could be interesting. We'll give it a shot. And if it sucks, I still got shrinkage. So whatever. Or shrinking. Did I say shrinkage? It's cold in here. You said, you said shrinkage. I, I'm in the pool. I came out of the pool. And it's shrinking. Uh, I was swimming this morning, so just, you know, I didn't throw out the excuses. Uh, shrinking. <laughs> shrinkage could be a funny show. Uh, <laughs> I think it's Apple Plus. Memo to self, send shrinkage. Uh, but that being said, so again, not a big week. So it gives it time to catch a, a couple of these other shows. Because this week is a lot of shows. And obviously, we continue to watch Poker Face and, you know, Shrinking. Uh, of course, uh, Box Mac and I are still going on, which I'm, I'm enjoying a lot. I have to finish up the, la the last batch of three episodes released this week. Mm -hmm. So a lot of good stuff out there. So that being said, guys, that's what we have for today. Check us out, of course, every Sunday here. Subscribe, help us out, like, comment, etc. And we'll see you guys, of course, next Sunday. Peace.